So it's summertime and um, I have been taking Kiki's off my Nobly type dendrobiums uh, or basically any dendrobium that forms Kiki's and potting them up. And I thought I would show what the Kiki's look like uh, before um, I took them off. I have a whole bunch that are overdue now. Um, people always, you know, wonder, you know, how big does a kiki need to be before you take it off? Uh, so this one right here, um, it's actually starting a second growth. This is way overdue. Um, you want, I mean, people are always like, oh, make sure the roots are one to two inches. But what you want to have is a lot, a lot of good, sturdy root growth. Of course, this has a ton of sturdy root growth already. And then you can take um, a razor blade and come right here and just cut between the stem and the kiki or this one's actually so ready that I could just reach in there and probably just hand snap it off by snapping it to the side uh, but I'm not going to do that yet until it's ready to come off so this one's actually yes, it's got a second growth coming off so this kiki's really um, ready to come off so this is another type dendrobium um, the other one was a nobly type. This is uh, this is uh, Lodigesi, and it also likes to make kikis. It especially makes kikis if um, you watered it too much. And so, if you look at this right here, you can see all the roots on this. You you could take this off, but if if I was going to um, separate this. I actually wouldn't take the kikis off one by one because individually each of these uh, little kiki bits like see right there that's not enough to form a good sturdy single plant. Um, if I was going to kiki this I would actually cut it right here and then take the entire section off and start a new plant. So you know, it's not just like amount of roots or whatever, but you want to have enough so that the plant has enough energy and enough um, structure to make a new plant successfully. So, you know, you can see this piece looks pretty big, you know, but not compared to the mother plant. And, you know, you turn it around and you can see that it has all these roots. But I think that it would still be kind of weak and, um, it would take a long time if you took that kiki off right now. It's not that it would die, but if you took this kiki off by itself, um, so I'm talking about this one right here, that one off by itself, then it would just have a hard time really establishing itself. So while kikis are a great way to make, um, to vegetatively divide a plant and get more, sometimes if you divide them too small, the kiki is just they just take a long time to establish and so it's better to leave them obviously on the plant until they're big enough or just to take off a bigger section of the orchid if you want to make a division with a kiki. So this here is another nobly type dendrobium that has um, a kiki on it and you can see it's not as well established as the other one that I was that I showed. Um, it's got roots. I mean, it could come off and it's got new growth, but it's only got two leaves. And so even though um, it's got roots, quote, long enough for it to come off, um, I feel that it would not have enough strength to come off and grow vigorously. So I would actually wait on taking um, this Kiki off a little bit longer. So this back here, is a kiki. It's got a lot of leaves on it. As you can see, it's got a lot of root growth coming off. And so um, this one, um, I think, has a better chance of growing vigorously if I took it off now. Or I could leave it and let it get any bigger. But, you know, I definitely, I want vigorous looking kikis like, say, here's this one behind it. Here, let me pull this leaf back so you can see all the roots. So see, here's all the roots on it, but you see all this growth? See how tall that kiki is right now? So that one, if I took it off, um, could easily establish and become a new um, nobly uh, dendrobium. And this is, uh, let's see, um, Wave King Akimbono. So 
you know, nice purple flowers if I wanted to divide it, take those kinkies off. And I just wanted to show right here what it was like when I took kikis off with part of the stem. So this right here is a piece that has part of the stem and it has the kiki on it. So you can see there's stem I just cut um, on either side of the node and I just took it all off. And, you know, so it was probably small when I took it off. So you can see that it hasn't grown very much. Um, I think I actually took this one off um, a dendrobium in the winter. So it hasn't done a lot in, you know, like say six months. I also have some, I don't know, growths that have put out roots and they sort of look like a kiki, but this was actually a flowering stem that's put out roots. And you see it has no leaves. And so I would not take this off. It's not gonna do anything. But you can see right here, it might be putting a kiki out on its side right here. So I would never take this off like this, even though the roots are long enough on this kiki, right? It doesn't have enough leaves. So you, this does, should not be uh, coming off until it's much bigger. So a kiki needs both leaves and roots for you to take it off the mother plant and uh, pot it up. Or else, you know, like that one I showed you where I took it off in the winter, um, it'll just take forever to really start growing.